The HQ-9 and Patriot missile systems are two prominent surface-to-air missile systems, also known as SAM, developed by China and the United States. Each system embodies the strategic philosophies of its respective nation, addressing different operational requirements and technological challenges. Welcome to Infographic Vision. Today we explore the HQ-9 and Patriot's features and capabilities in detail. The radar system is the heart of any air defense platform, as it enables target detection, tracking, and engagement. The HQ-9 uses the HT-233 radar, a phased array system that provides 360-degree coverage and has a detection range of up to 300 kilometers. This radar is specifically designed to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously, including stealth aircraft, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles. Its phased array technology enables rapid beam switching, allowing it to engage fast-moving threats efficiently. This radar is also integrated with Advanced Electronic Counter-Countermeasures ECCM, capabilities, making it resistant to jamming and other electronic warfare tactics. The Patriot system employs the AN-MPQ-65 radar, also a phased array design, but with a shorter detection range of about 170 kilometers. The AN-MPQ-65 excels in its ability to track ballistic missiles and aircraft at various altitudes. Its advanced software and hardware upgrades in the Pac-3 configuration have improved its ability to discriminate between decoys and actual threats, a critical capability when facing modern missile systems. While the radar range is shorter than the HQ-9s, the Patriot radar's precision and ability to integrate seamlessly with NATO and allied systems give it a significant advantage in layered air defense networks. The key distinction between the two radar systems lies in their focus areas. The HQ-9 prioritizes broad detection and long-range engagement, while the Patriot system places emphasis on precision tracking and interoperability. These differences reflect the strategic needs of their respective developers. China's need to defend vast territories versus the U.S.'s emphasis on coalition-based operations. The missiles used by the HQ-9 are designed to intercept a wide range of aerial threats. The system employs dual-mode guidance, combining inertial navigation for mid-course correction with active radar homing during the terminal phase. This allows the HQ-9 to maintain high accuracy even against highly maneuverable targets such as modern fighter jets or low-flying cruise missiles. The HQ-9 missile travels at speeds of up to Mach 4.2 and has an engagement range of 200 kilometers with newer variants potentially extending to 300 kilometers. These capabilities make the HQ-9 a versatile tool for defending large areas against a variety of threats. In contrast, the Patriot Pac-3 missile employs a hit-to-kill approach, designed specifically for ballistic missile defense. This advanced technology ensures that the missile destroys its target through direct collision, minimizing the risk of collateral damage. The Pac-3 missile is smaller than earlier variants, allowing each launcher to carry up to 16 interceptors, significantly enhancing its ability to deal with saturation attacks. While its range is shorter than that of the HQ-9 at 160 kilometers, its precision and reliability against ballistic missiles are unmatched. The Pac-3's advanced seekers and propulsion systems make it particularly effective in engaging multiple threats simultaneously such as decoys and maneuverable re-entry vehicles. The HQ-9's missile technology is more focused on flexibility and long-range engagement, while the Patriot Pac-3's emphasis on precision and ballistic missile interception highlights its role in defending against high-priority targets. The HQ-9 is mounted on a highly mobile wheeled chassis, which allows it to be deployed rapidly across diverse terrains. This mobility is crucial for adapting to dynamic battlefield conditions, especially in areas where air superiority may be contested. Each HQ-9 battery typically consists of a radar vehicle, command vehicle, and multiple launcher vehicles, all capable of redeployment within hours. This mobility ensures that the system can provide consistent air defense coverage even in fast-changing scenarios. The Patriot system, while transportable, is less mobile than the HQ-9. Its launchers and radar systems are mounted on trailers, which require additional support vehicles for towing and setup. The deployment process can take several hours, making the system less agile in rapidly evolving combat environments. 
However, once established, the Patriot system provides robust and reliable air defense coverage, particularly in fixed installations or strategically important areas. The differences in mobility between the two systems again reflect their intended use cases. The HQ-9's mobility makes it well-suited for protecting large dispersed areas, while the Patriot system's semi-static nature aligns with its role in protecting critical infrastructure and key strategic points. The HQ-9 is designed primarily for standalone operations or integration within China's domestic defense network. Its command and control systems are optimized for compatibility with other Chinese air defense assets, creating a cohesive national defense strategy. However, the system lacks the extensive interoperability features that are common in Western platforms, making it less suitable for joint operations with other nations. This limitation is not necessarily a drawback for China, which has focused on developing a self-reliant defense network. The Patriot system, on the other hand, is a cornerstone of NATO's integrated air and missile defense architecture. Its ability to operate seamlessly with allied forces and systems, such as the Aegis Combat System and THAAD, enhances its effectiveness in multi-layered defense strategies. The Patriot's interoperability has been demonstrated in various conflict zones, including the Middle East, where it has worked alongside other allied assets to provide comprehensive air defense coverage. The Patriot system's interoperability gives it a distinct advantage in coalition-based operations, while the HQ-9's integration capabilities are more limited, but sufficient for China's defense requirements. The HQ-9 has not been tested extensively in combat, as it has primarily been deployed within China and in a few export markets, such as Turkey and Algeria. However, its capabilities have been demonstrated in numerous exercises and live-fire drills. The system's ability to engage a variety of aerial threats, including stealth aircraft, makes it a formidable component of China's air defense network. Export versions like the FD-2000 have also attracted interest due to their affordability and competitive performance. The Patriot system, in contrast, has a long combat history. It was first deployed in the Gulf War, where it was used to intercept Iraqi Scud missiles. While its performance in early conflicts was mixed, subsequent upgrades have significantly improved its reliability and effectiveness. The PAC-3 variant, in particular, has proven highly capable in intercepting tactical ballistic missiles and other advanced threats. Its combat record, combined with extensive deployment in allied countries, has cemented its reputation as one of the world's most effective air defense systems. While the HQ-9's combat performance remains largely theoretical, the Patriot system's proven effectiveness gives it a clear edge in real-world scenarios. The HQ-9 is generally more affordable than the Patriot system, making it an attractive option for countries with limited defense budgets. Its export version, the FD-2000, offers comparable capabilities at a lower price point, making it a competitive alternative to Western systems. This cost advantage has helped China secure contracts with nations seeking modern air defense without the high costs associated with Western platforms. The Patriot system, while more expensive, benefits from its established reputation and compatibility with NATO standards. Its high price tag reflects its advanced technology and proven combat record. Countries that prioritize interoperability with Western forces and access to cutting-edge defense capabilities are more likely to invest in the Patriot system. The HQ-9 and Patriot missile systems serve different strategic needs, reflecting the defense priorities of their respective nations. The HQ-9 excels in range, mobility, and cost-effectiveness, making it well-suited for standalone operations and large-scale territorial defense. The Patriot system, with its precision, interoperability, and proven combat record, is an ideal choice for nations seeking integration into advanced defense networks and robust protection against ballistic missile threats. The ultimate choice between these systems depends on a nation's strategic priorities, threat environment, and budgetary constraints. Both systems represent the pinnacle of their respective countries' air defense technologies and are critical components of modern military strategy. Thank you for joining us on the Infographic Vision. Stay connected for more insights into global military advancements and the ever-changing dynamics of power at sea.